Hey guys, welcome back to Draw Long Doodles with Walker. So today's going to be a little bit different. A lot of times we're doing a full body shot. Today we're just going to be doing the face of a Scotty dog. So it's a little bit more portrait-like as opposed to drawing a whole character. Now the great thing is you can see his beard and his little sad eyes, or maybe they're wise eyes. It depends on how you want to look at it. So I'll move you guys over to the side a little bit. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the big trapezoid for his head. You'll notice my page is vertical because obviously the face is longer than it is wide. So here's the top of my trapezoid. Okay. Now, a trapezoid, remember the sides angle outward. So it's angling outward and angling outward. Okay, now I'm going to come and I'm just going to do a slightly curved bottom for the bottom of that trapezoid. All right, that's his big head shape. That gets you a lot. The next key is going to be that we're going to do the ears. The ears are going to come from the top of that trapezoid and they'll come out and out. Now, the other part of his ear shape is going to be triangular. So it comes down about the middle of that trapezoid. And we're going down to the middle of that trapezoid. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take it and go up and in, up and in. It should be a fairly acute angle. If it ends up a right angle, then you have not gone up enough. All right, now their eyes are gonna come not quite in the middle of their ears, but pretty close. So to put their eyes in, I need to put in his nose. So I'm gonna make an arch. And then in the middle, I'll leave a space. And then I'll try to make a similar arch on the other side. Then I'm going to come down, 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 tilting in just a little bit. Their lines aren't totally parallel, but they're not ending up in a triangle. We're probably three quarters or two thirds of the way down our Scotty's face. Now we're going to give him his nose. So we're going to go across, down, and down. Look, it's a trapezoid. And then we're going to curve this just a little bit. Now to make his nose look 3D, since we're so close, we are going to come in and give the little angles of where that nose is changing just a little bit. So. I'm going to separate off the top part by giving a broken wide angle. And then I'm going to come and do a line up the middle. And then dogs' noses are actually not totally solid. They have little parts that almost look like they're cut out. So I'm going to come add those. It's kind of like drawing a rainbow or a puzzle piece. And then I'm just going to erase the ends of that to make sure that I don't accidentally sharpie through it. Okay. Now, if your nose is like mine and it doesn't quite meet the ends of that bone structure at the bottom of his nose, then what we can do is we can just take it and widen the bottom of that out a little bit. Because you want the end of that shape to really be where the nose is. All right, awesome. Next thing's next, we're gonna go in and give him his eyebrows. So where you use this big arch, we're gonna come follow that and we're gonna extend a little bit past where the side of his head is. And then we're gonna come back in and less curved across. So you want his eyelids to come a little bit flopping down. So I'm going out with my curve. And you are trying to get it close, but it may not be the exact same curve. So you just do your best. And then I'm going to get the bottom of it. 
and you'll notice both of the ends of my eyebrows come out past my face. All right, now to go in and out his eyes, we're going to come underneath and we're just going to do part of the circle. If we did the whole circle, it would look like that, but we don't need the top. Then we'll do the inside circle for the pupil. I'm going to put a little shine in there. Okay, now over to the other side. There's my big circle. There's my smaller circle. And there's my little shine mark. Okay. Now, if he looks sleepy or tired, then you're dead on. That's pretty much what he looks like. All right, from the top of the nose right here, I'm going to come and arch down and out to the left and down and out to the right. So I've made a big, very lovely mustache. <laughs> now, right here at the bottom of the nose, I'm going to come and curve just a little bit out and down. Just a little bit out and down. Now, Scotty dogs have that very wiry hair, so I'm going to come and give him that part. Now, we're going to make the hair that's underneath his mouth, underneath his chin. So, we're going to come down and down from that mustache, and we'll give him his little chin hair. Now, we need to get the rest of his facial hair, how it's all coming and bunching up at the bottom. So we're going to start from under his eyes a little bit below. And we're going to come out, out. And then I'm going to round around. I'm not going to add the zigzag line right now because I'm just focusing on this part. So that when I come and do the zigzags, it'll look a little bit more like that. Woo, that's a little big. And then I can put little J's or backwards J's in there to make it look like those are part of his hair as well. All right, now the last thing he needs is where his shoulders are going into his neck. Okay. So sharpening this guy is going to take your focus. You're not going to be able to just look away and hope that it works out. So make sure we're paying attention. First things first, we're going to do his nose. So I'm making sure I pay attention to the places that I erased where it indents in. All right, then I'm going to follow that line from the nose up and do the eyebrow. Now, when I get to the bottom of the eyebrow, I'm going to zigzag it because it's that furry feeling as well. Up from the other side of the nose, over from the eyebrow, and zigzag it back in. Okay, now we're going to do his eyes. Circle, circle, leave the little room for the white shine, and color the people in. All right, circle, circle, leave the little room for the white shine, color the people in. Check it out, you're doing good. All right. The next thing that we're going to go tackle is his bearded area. So we're going to start with the mustache, then go to the chin beard, and then we'll go to the beard that's around. So mustache, out, out, that slight curve coming out. Now I'm going to use a zigzag line to connect those. And you notice I'm not going a perfect up and down. I'm being a little bit more variegated or what we would call random 
to do my line because he obviously hasn't cut it perfectly. All right, now we're going to do the chin line. And you know, I'm staying in that area, but I'm doing slightly different lengths. Okay, now this is the time if you haven't already gone in and kind of put those bumpy areas in his big beard, this would be a good time to do that. I'm going to go ahead and sharpie it. I'm going to kind of curve that one right there. I'm going to stop when I get to the other side of his shoulder. I'm going to come the opposite way. So I try not to make it totally match the other side so that it feels a little bit more natural and a little less um, forced. All right. Now I'm going to come up with the side of his face, up with the side of his face. Then when I get to the top, I'm going to add a little sprig of hair that's loose. So I'm going to come and zig back in. Because if he's got all this beard, surely this isn't like perfectly flat. If you don't like that, you don't have to do it, but just an idea. All right, now for the ears, the bottom part we're thinking about being shaggy. There we go. Go to the other side. All right. And there, my friends, is a dog who is over it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to come and sharpie his shoulders. And now I've still got these little lines that are kind of indicative of the fluff or the separation in his hair. So I'm going to do those with a thin sharpie because those are not as important. Those are more about texture than they are the big outline and contour. So... I'm going to do those with thin Sharpie so they're a little bit less immediately in your face. There we go. And then I'm going to add some here too so that he can be there. It also kind of helps you with the directionality of his beard so that people get the idea of which way the flow of fur is going. And I'm going to give a couple of his ears. All right. Looks great, guys. You're ready to add color. You could be a regular colored Scotty dog, black or gray or brown, or maybe he's technicolor. Who knows? We will see you guys again later. Bye.